Oh, uh, can you see the steam? Look at that! Good evening fellow foodies, welcome back to another video, welcome back to another food review. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Now, I don't know if you remember, but a long time ago, I did 24 hours eating army rations and I couldn't get anything that was self-heating. Now, my luck has struck and I've finally got something which is self-heating. And yes, it's a self-heating, look at this, just look at this for God's sake, it's a self-heating um, beef hot pot. And yeah, so basically... It's quite self-explanatory. What I'm going to do is stick all the uh, vegetables, noodles, whatnot in here. And yeah, all the beef, stick it all in one thing. And it's essentially going to just like cook itself. Crazy, I know. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you guys basically how it works. We're going to review it. And most importantly, we're going to taste it. So uh, see you in a sec. Welcome back, guys. Here we are. We've got the self-heating hot pot right here. So now I'm just going to open it up. Look at this, and we have some of these. I don't know what this is, this looks like some sort of like noodly thing, but yeah, never mind. We've got the cured beef, look at that. Look at that old bad boy. We have another dish, I suppose we're gonna put all this stuff in here. Further in here, we've got some utensils, that's pretty decent actually, we've got some uh, handy chopsticks. Whilst we got all, we've got some pickled vegetables. Pickled vegetables right here. Absolutely lovely. And here we have the seasoning. Not bad. Spicy flavour hot pot seasoning. Absolutely brilliant. And here is the heating pack itself. I honestly don't know how this uh, works. But we're going to try and uh, sort something out. So all these packets have little numbers on. I'm going to add them to the dish. Literally one by one. So we're going to start off with the spicy flavour hot pot seasoning. Now we've got number two, which is the pickled vegetables. Now we've got number three, which is the cured beef. Looks like a nice bit of beef there. Last but not least, number four. I can't even pronounce this. This is like bean vermicelli or I don't know. Otherwise it's bean. Ah, uh, so this is very, very, very um, sort of fine noodles, as it were. Now that everything is in the tray, we're simply just going to add um, some water up until the little fill line, as so. I'm also just going to give this. Um, a little stir around or some sort of stir because uh, it looks like it just needs sort of mixing around a little bit those um, noodles I don't know how hot this is gonna be I don't know how spicy it's gonna be but yeah that looks pretty pretty cool to me next up we're actually going to add water to this massive black sort of bowl that we're gonna stick the uh, vegetables and the beef in you, I don't know if you can see it but you can sort of see like the max fill line right there so it's literally only a tiny bit of water but we're going to stick um, some water in right now and get to that fill line hopefully yep that seems about right to me um, yeah it's not a lot of water that's quite strange really let's get back to the table Welcome back to the table ladies and gentlemen. Now we have all the equipment here ready for it all to self cook itself. I'm actually so so excited. Um, yeah, so we have our big black bowl here. It's got a little bit of water filled it up to the maximum fill line as you know. Here we've got the little tray inside with all the food and all the ingredients inside. Looks absolutely buzzing. Here we've got um, some utensils like chopsticks whatnot. I might need them a little bit later. I'm actually quite scared. I'm actually, fuck off, I'm genuinely quite scared because this is the uh, heat thing, the little heat fucking pack. Shit, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing, let me find the instructions and read it. Okay, so, um, tear the plastic bag in the heat pack to confirm that, uh, blah, 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 place in black box, and then you put the white one on top, and you put the lid on top. So yeah, I'm I'm fucking nervous. <sighs> so let's do it. Right, here's the heat pack. We're gonna stick this in the water. Then we're gonna put this tray on top, 
Uh, let me say this tray, this tray here, and then we're gonna just do it. Right, so here's the heat pack. It's going inside at the water. Right, it's in. I'm now gonna put this tray on. That tray's in there now also. I'm now going to pop the lid on. And now we're just going to wait and see if it actually cooks. I don't know what's going to happen here. It's not getting hot yet. I'm fucking shit in my pants here. I don't want it to explode in my face. Go away. I can hear it. I can genuinely hear it. It's working. Oh my god, I'm just waiting for the steam to come out now. Here we go. It's making a noise. Oh, can you see the steam? Look at that. Genuinely. I can feel the steam. That's nuts. Right, so now I've got to leave this for 15 minutes. And yeah. Whew. I'm gassed. I can see the steam, man. This is just crazy. So I'm going to leave this for 15 minutes to cook. And I'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Our beef hot pot is here. It's literally just been cooking for 15 minutes. Now, I'm going to give this a little bit of a stir around. And then we're going to head back to the table. And we're going to give this one a review. And we're going to try it and give it a taste and see how spicy it is, and what does it taste like? See you guys at the table. Welcome back to the tasting part of the video. We have a Heidi Lau, I believe it's called, um, beef, spicy beef, hot pot, self heating. Um, yeah, it's here. It's been cooking for 15 minutes. Um, it's been a while actually. I don't normally like waiting for food to be cooked, but now it's the intriguing park. park. part see what it tastes like i've got my chopsticks and um i definitely cannot use them but i'm not sure if we're supposed to take this white tray out or not but fuck it i'm gonna give up with the uh chopsticks i mean i'm all for learning new things but chopsticks right now are not really priority oh, so we've got the beef in here we've got the pickled vegetables we've got the noodles and we've got that sauce that lovely spicy don't know what sort of sauce it is but yeah, look at these lovely noodles here. So we're going to dive in. Uh, we're going to have a bite of sort of everything. And I'll let you know sort of how spicy it is. Yeah, that's spicy. That's fucking spicy. Mmm. Noodles are actually are nice and light. Very, very thin, thin, thin noodles. I don't think I've actually seen noodles um, this thin actually before. Um, also, you can get these things on Amazon. You can actually get them on Amazon for like um, 16, 17 pounds. They're actually quite expensive. So far, I'm getting like a little licorice taste. Um, it's very, very fragrant. Let's give the beef a try. Mm. That beef is quite meaty. It sort of tastes like... Mmm. Obviously it tastes like beef, that's just stupid, but the beef is like quite chewy um, and you've got like a little bit of fat on it, but it has got a lot of flavour. You know what, I actually love this sort of stuff like Asian cuisine with like noodles, literally anything the Asians do pretty much. I really vibe on that sort of stuff, I think it's like tremendously healthy and really full of flavour. Like. Their cuisine is absolutely amazing. The uh, vegetables have that really nice crunch to them. It sort of like gives you like a different texture. I can sort of feel this spice building up. It's not like, how can I explain it? I've had some chilies in my time. It's not like outrageous. I can, it almost, it's the same heat as a McDonald's McSpicy. So I wouldn't really class that as spicy like, my, I can talk fine, I'm only breaking a sweat it's like 30 degrees outside, but it's not really that spicy. I really like the beef in this, it's um, really flavoursome, 
really tasty. I mean, I'm not really sure where you would use this. I mean, you wouldn't take it to work, would you? And start self-heating your meal. But obviously, if you're out like camping and that sort of stuff, and you fancy some sort of like, and there's a Chinese cuisine, these are fantastic. So here we've got a bit of beef, a bit of noodle, and a bit of vegetable. Let's dive in. Almost got um. Almost tastes quite salty. Very, very flavoursome. It's got like this licorice aftertaste. I'm not sure if I'm quite fond of that. And it's weird, the spice is like, it will sort of build so much and then it's like, it'll just mellow down. I think these are actually fantastic and really interesting. I mean, I never had like um, a self-heating item at all before. Um, I think this concept is absolutely fantastic. Um, these are actually a well-known brand. Um, and they get like shipped to the UK, these sort of hot pots, but I quite like it. I mean, it's not, how can I explain it? It's not like the best quality ingredients, I don't think. It's simply just, you know, to, I'm not sure. It's just, I don't know, it can't be the best quality ingredients, obviously. But it does taste actually okay. Well, guys, you've seen me cook it. You've seen me eat it. Uh, you've seen me taste it. You've seen me talk about it. And yeah, wow, thank you so much. Um, please subscribe to the channel, it does help me a lot. I really like these, I think the concept is absolutely fantastic. I got mine for just five pounds, so, you know, it's very cheap. I've never had a self-eating, eat, eating? Self-heating thing before ever, and yeah, I think these are absolutely brilliant. I mean, some of the flavours there are very, very good, very fantastic. Um, it's obviously not the most perfect thing in the world. Some people are not gonna like it, but it's very fragrant. It does taste very nice, the beef is very good, and yeah, I mean, give it a try, see what you think, but a nice little thing, and it's a lot of food as well, a lot of food for one person, and I think that is a fantastic concept, and if you want to see more videos like this, I can also buy another flavour, that would be great, but thank you so much for watching, thank you for all your support as of recently, all the recent subscribers, thank you so much, and yeah, I've really enjoyed doing this video, and I'll see you tomorrow for another review.